welcome to Scott's Inverts. Oh, I'm Scott. These are the inverts, and today we are rehousing our Platymeris Bugiotatus. Yes, a white spotted assassin bugs. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to do these a bit more traditional instead of what you see, see behind, which is the bioactive setup that we did for our Pistelia horodia. These guys are going to be set up a boreal. I want to create a kind of log pile so the actual the actual enclosure that I'm going to be building is not going to be sort of aesthetically pleasing, but it's going to be perfect habitat for these guys to breed in. Anyway, let's get into today's video. So our, our white spots were in this baroplastic container with egg with crates that we're doing absolutely fine in here. I just want them more of a, in a display tank and a bit more, or a bit more space for these guys as well. But you can see some nymphs and some juveniles in this box they've been doing really really well breeding really really well and as you'll see in just a couple of seconds there's quite a few eggs in the bottom of here but like i said i just wanted to get away from the egg crates and get them into something a bit more naturalistic so in this build we're going to be trying out for like a naturalistic looking log pile um, something which they would find in the wild and hide up against Here's some more piece of court bark there, look. Loads inside there, a couple of adults in there as well. Absolutely awesome stuff. So these have been doing really, really well. The key to these is, as well, guys, is to keep live food in with them at all times. This is the soil after we've got them all out. Um, this soil, look, if you can just see closely, those little brown shiny things are actually eggs. So it's really important that this enclosure stays like it is for at least another eight weeks so those babies can pop out of those eggs and we can add those to the colony as well. They do tend to lay these eggs in a damp area. Um, so although you don't really spray the assassin bugs down, it is, it is a good idea to keep one corner damp so they can carry on laying eggs in this, that area. So this is the build. Um, we are going for a nasty exoterra background purely because I haven't got anything else but it doesn't look too bad does it really to be fair and it's one of the old spider shop enclosures which is what about 12 inches by by about 10 inches by 10 inches back roughly and then the substrate is just basically dry cocoa there's some charcoal going in there there's some dried leaves there's even some orchid bark in there because it doesn't really matter they don't burrow down into it the top layer of this substrate has to remain nice and loose so they can bury their eggs with ease into it only like an inch or two inches deep and that will be completely fine the platymus bigotus the two spotted assassin bug um, is actually venomous um, it comes from West and Southwest Africa and they can range in size from 10 to 40 mil. They're absolutely awesome. It has needle like mouth parts and what these do is inject plants or other insects and instead of chewing it can suck out their insides. Absolutely amazing. So it's a rostrum at the front of this this bug which is used to pierce the exoskeleton of its prey and plants. It then injects its own saliva into the plant or into the prey and then it uses the rostrum to suck out the insides. Absolutely disgusting, but that's the way it's done. Um, these guys also, if you, if, <laughs> if you disturb them, they can give a defensive bite and it's Apparently a little bit more painful than a bee sting, although I've been really, really lucky not to get a hit off these guys just yet. When you are keeping a colony, it's a good thing to remember. You need you need to be putting feed in of various different sizes. So I put like flies in for the for the new hatchlings, tiny little crickets going all the way up to cockroaches, and even darkling beetles and also caterpillars can be consumed by these guys. They are endemic to uh, tropical Africa. Um, it is found in other countries such as Zengal, Gambia, Guinea, uh, down the Ivory Coast, Togo, Chad, Sudan, Ethiopia. So they're absolutely widespread across those southern and southern west parts of Africa. So coming from Africa, these guys are going to be wanting to be up there. Uh, about between 26 to 28 degrees will be ideal for those, or they can suffice at room temperature 
um, still produce nymphs. The adults are absolutely awesome. The females can lay eggs if they've not been mated, but these eggs are actually infertile. And the development of the fertile eggs takes between six to 10 weeks and from egg to adult is around two years. And there we see a nymph, a juvie and an adult all together. Um, I absolutely adore these. I'm actually on the lookout for the yellow spot assassin bugs and the orange spot assassin bugs. So if you do have any um, that you're getting rid of or if you know anybody that's got them for sale or a website, please drop me a message either on Scott's Inverts, TikTok, Instagram or Facebook. That would be absolutely amazing. And as far as humidity goes, it's a good idea to keep one corner of this enclosure damp mainly just purely because that's where they're going to be laying their eggs um, a lot of people do keep these on sand just purely because they can sift the sand and get the eggs out of the sand easier than what you can the soil um, I do intend on spraying these literally just just on the glass on one side of it uh, once a week because I have seen the Pistelia herodia colony that we've got drink water from off the court bark I want to see if these guys are going to do the same thing um, these are the nymphs just trying to get some nice macro shots for you guys and these just look like swelled up little sweets I think with yellow legs <laughs> but that is our build up on the shelf now try to get it like a wood pile effect uh, more importantly for me so I can now watch them and see how they interact with each other instead of being in that barrel plastic tub boom so that was our white spotted assassin book enclosure build it's on the racking just here. Um, hopefully those adults are going to start laying eggs in there. Like I said, just to reiterate, that substrate from the previous enclosure, we're going to keep that for another eight weeks just to make sure that all the eggs that are in there hatch out into nymphs and then we can put those ones into there as well. Um, recently we have been sort of rehomed rather we rehomed a budgie to us um, this is one of my friends they basically didn't want it anymore so we've got that if you want to see that on the end of the video let me know down in the comments she is absolutely beautiful anyway tuesday which is tomorrow at 8 p.m we're going to go live we're doing an open mic night so that means grab your camera or grab your tripod follow the link that i put in the live comments and you can either join me on stream or you can just chat away in the comments or watch peacefully in the background completely up to you anyway guys thank you so so much for watching and if you haven't already remember to hit that subscribe button get that notification bell on when we hit 4k we will be doing another huge giveaway and if it's anything like the 3k <laughs> it's going to be massive and as always we shall see you again on the next one